Okay, so the next job was to power the flight controller. Um, I put in these header pins on the side here. I thought that'd be simple. Um, connect the ground and the back output to the ground and positive, and then motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four to one, two, three, four. Um, I did that with a couple of three-way servo leads as such. So now that's our ground back motor one and then motor two, three, four connected to just the signal pins of motors two, three, four. Um, but powering that up um, off camera. Was the board, as you can see, but uh, nothing to the flight controller, which confused me for a little bit until I went back and had a look at uh, Oscar's webpage. If I just uh, pull these out for a tick, um, that back pin is on there um, is connected to the back 5 volt pad um, which if I was using a speed controller with a, with a regulator um, that would connect there and supply 5 volts to there and then that would s supply 5 volts to there and that would then supply 5 volts to the flight controller um, but because I'm using little b ESCs, uh, they don't supply 5 volts. Uh, so to solve that problem, there's an inbuilt regulator uh, over here, uh, and there's a couple of pins here, 5 volt and ground. So again, just took a three-way servo pin and still to keep the uh, motors connected put these back in Is two, three, four. Okay, this time the board is going to be powered from over here. So I'll plug in the lipo. And now the board has power.